In this video, we're going to focus on increasing and decreasing functions. So a function is increasing when the graph is going up as you move from left to right. It's constant when it's just maintaining the same y value, if it's horizontal. And it's decreasing if it's going down as you move from left to right. So in this region, the function is relatively constant. I know my graph is not perfect, but we're going to be reasonable with it. In the second part, it's increased and it's going up. In the third part, it's constant. And then in the last part, it's decreased and it's going down. So let's focus on the intervals where it's increasing first. So it's increasing, and we're going to use the x values to describe it. It's increasing starting from negative 2 and ending at negative 1. So we're going to write negative 2 to negative 1. Now, it doesn't include negative 2 or negative 1 because at this exact point, you can't say it's increasing or constant. So we're going to use parentheses. Now, let's talk about when it's decreasing. So it's decreasing when it's going down. And it's going down starting at 1, but ending at 3. So it's decreasing from 1 to 3. Now, when is the function constant? Let me use a different color to describe it. So it's constant starting from negative 4 to negative 2 and starting back up from negative 1 to 1. So for the first part, it's constant from negative 4 to negative 2. And then union, we need to connect that with the second part where it's constant and that's from negative 1 to 1. And so that's it. So now you know how to determine when the function is decreasing, when it's increasing, and when it's constant. You know what? I put D for this one. This should be C for constant. So let's just uh, fix that. So let's work on some more examples. Let's try this one. So notice that in the first part, the function is decreasing at this section. And then in this section, it's increasing. So I'm going to put an I there for increasing. And then it's constant. And then after that, it's decreasing. So let's put a D there. And then it goes up. It's increasing. So let's determine the intervals where the function is increasing first. So it's increasing starting around negative 4. It doesn't have to be exact. And then it stops approximately at negative 2. And then it increases again, starting around 2-ish. And we have an arrow, so that's going to continue on to infinity. So we could say that it's increasing, starting from negative 4 to negative 2. That's the first part. And then union, let's connect it to the second part, from 2 to infinity. Now, when is the function decreasing? So it's decreasing in this section. All the way to the left, it starts from negative infinity. And then it stops decreasing at negative 4. And then it starts back up around 0. That's an x value of 0 to 2. Let me write that better. Now, it's constant only from negative 2 to 0. And that's it. So here's the last example. Find the intervals on which the function is increasing, decreasing, and constant. So during the first part, notice that the function is increasing. And then in this part here, notice that it's decreasing. And then here it's increasing again. And then finally, it's decreasing. So it's not constant for any significant period of time. So we could say the function is increasing, starting from negative infinity. And then it changes direction at negative 2. This is known as a local maximum or a relative max. This is called a relative minimum.
and here is a relative maximum. So it's increasing from negative infinity to negative 2, and then union, it starts to increase again from, at this point, 0 to 2. And then it's decreasing from negative 2 to 0, and then union, it decreases again starting from 2, and then based on this arrow, it continues forever to infinity. And so that's it.